Hello, I'm Nurul Athar, PMP CPHIMS and Artel Certified and welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, I'm going to, to explain what is changing in PIMBOK Guide 7th edition. Okay, this PIMBOK 6th edition and this column represent PIMBOK 7th edition draft. Okay, PIMBOK 6th edition contains introduction, project management, uh, project environment, role of project manager. This is going to be completely removed and there will be like tailoring, models, method and artifact and 10 knowledge area in PIMBOK 6 edition there are 10 knowledge area and it is going to be replaced by 8 performance domain these will be team, stakeholder, life cycle, planning, navigating, uncertainty and ambiguity delivery, performance, project work the standard project management in its initiating planning executing monitoring and controlling and closing this is going to be removed okay this part is going to be replaced introduction value delivery system and 12 delivery principles stewardship team stakeholders value holistic thinking leadership tailoring quality complexity, opportunity and threat, adaptability and resilience, change management. This part will be same. Appendix, appendicitis, glossary and index. There will be tailoring, models, methods and artifact chapters in PIMBOK 7 editions. In PIMBOK 7th edition, there will be a shift from the process-based approach to the principle-based approach. PMI is moving from process-based approach to holistic principle-based approach, similar to Agile world. Instead of processes, input, outputs, tools and techniques, project delivery focuses on principles and outcomes. Performance domain describe the collection of activities or functions that influence project performance. They provide guidance for decision making with a focus on enabling desired project outcomes. In PIMBOK 7 edition, instead of knowledge areas, there will be 8 performance domain. Project management performance domain are areas of, areas of focus for delivering projects. They are interdependent, interrelated and overlapping. They occur throughout the project life cycle. They are outcomes. They are outcomes focused. There will be twelve principles in PIMBOK 7 edition, and these principles define the what and why of project delivery. Project delivery principles describe fundamental truth, norm or value, and not prescriptive in order to ensure the intended outcomes of project delivery. Project team member must follow these principles. The following are 12 principles. First is stewardship, be diligent and respectful, caring, steward. Second, team, build culture of accountability and respect. Number third, stakeholders, engage stakeholders to understand their interests and needs. Number four, value, focus on value. Number five, holistic thinking, recognize and respond to system interaction. Number six, leadership. Motivate, influence and coach and learn. Number seven, tailoring. Tailor the delivery approach based on contest. Number eight, quality. Build quality into processes and results. Number nine, complexity. Address complexity using knowledge, experience and learning. Number ten, opportunity and threat. Address opportunity and threats. Number eleven, adaptability and resilience. Be adaptable and resilient. Number ten, and number sorry, number twelve, change management. Enable change to achieve envision future state. Together the principal and performance domains serve all of the people involved in project activities. Okay, that brings us to end up my presentation. Thanks for watching. I hope you would have found this information useful. 
if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends